Hello everyone, I'm re-uploading this video due to a mistake in the MewGameList.xml file instructions in the original upload. This has been corrected and the process should now work correctly as expected. Note that you'll need to enable file extensions in Windows Explorer to see and edit the file types properly. Finally, I've included a link in the description to a template XML file if you don't want to build the whole thing yourself. Thanks for your patience, now on to the video. Hello and welcome back to RetroBreeze. Today we're looking at ScumVM games and how to get them running on your Miu Mini. ScumVM stands for Script Creation Utility for Manic Mansion Virtual Machine. Uh, let's just keep it simple. It lets you play point and click adventure games like the classic ones from LucasArts, Sierra and more. Fun fact, ScumVM isn't really an emulator. It's more like a game engine that uses the same scripting language as those older games, for the most part anyway. ScumVM is easy to set up and play and there are hundreds of incredible games available. Before I go on, I absolutely have to give a massive mega thank you to Russ from Retro Game Core, who recently gave me a shout out on his channel. I gained so many subscribers from that that it's actually crazy, and so I thank everybody who subscribed as well. I look forward to bringing you the utmost quality content I can. Thank you again Russ, and I really cannot express my appreciation for your support and for being an all around awesome dude. Alright, so this video is actually going to be divided into two parts. In the first part, you'll learn how to add games to your mini, and find out which specific files you need for each game. The second half will be about how to tidy up the game list for ScumVM, because by default it is super ugly. In the end, it will look exactly like your other lists, with one single entry per game, including box art if you want it. Let's start by installing the ScumVM system. On your Miu Mini running Onion OS, go into Apps, then the Onion Installer. Scroll down the consoles list until you find ScumVM. Press A to activate it, then start to return to the apps list. Now it's time to add some games, and unfortunately it's not as simple as just dropping a zip file or something into a folder. So I'm going to show you how to find the files you need for your game. On the Onion OS wiki, it says to put our games into an unzipped ScumVM folder. Inside our SD cards ROMs folder, we'll find another folder named ScumVM. Inside this folder, we'll add a new folder for each of your games. I'm going to start with a folder for The Secret of Monkey Island, which I'll make here. So exactly what files do we need to put into the folder? to make the game run. We'll find out by browsing over to wiki.scumvm.org. This is the central hub for all of your ScumVM needs. A great page here is where to get the games, which tells you where to buy and download the supported games. Holy moly, Beneath a Steel Sky is freeware? I had no idea. Anyway, another great page is supported games. It brings up a page with an index of all the supported games. Note that there's more than one page here. Anyway, let's just skip to the good part by using the search bar to search for The Secret of Monkey Island. Here I am on the web page for the game. Under the installation section, you'll see the required data files. Under each bold heading are names and types of files that you need. An asterisk means that all of the files of that type are required. As you can see, many different versions of the game are supported. However, note that the CD-based versions, such as that for a Sega CD and PC CD, usually require extra steps to convert audio files. This is a very common complaint with ScumVM games, so if you find your game doesn't have any audio, be sure to check the wiki for any extra steps that you may need to take to fix it. Here I have a floppy version of Secret of Monkey Island. In this folder, we can see a bunch of LFL and LEC files. Let's reference the wiki page for the game. We can see here that we need all of the LFL and LEC files, as indicated by these asterisks. All we need to do is just copy these files into the folder from Monkey Island that I made on my SD card. Once that's done, we'll reboot the mini, refresh our ROMs, then enter a ScumVM system. This looks a bit different than you're probably used to on the mini. Rather than a list of games, there's the folder. Inside that folder is... Uh, yeah, this is a list of all of those files we just added, and it looks super ugly. Don't worry about it for now. Just choose any of these files and the game will start right up. ScumVM works a little differently than other systems on the Mini. It has its own interface which you can bring up with the Start button. Here you can change various options such as audio balance and subtitle speed, as well as potentially other game-specific options too. You can also save and or load states from here. You cannot save states using the usual hotkeys on the Mini, so be sure to do it in this menu instead. Use the X button to go back and return into the game. A great tip is that holding L1 makes the cursor move more slowly, great for fine tuning its position. If you want to change the overall sensitivity of the cursor, press function and select to bring up the menu, then go to options. In here you can fine tune your cursor to your liking. If you do change anything, press B to go back, then go to overrides. Save core overrides will apply it to all of your games moving forward, and save game overrides will save it just for the current game, so make your choice. Alright, let's install one more game, The Curse of Monkey Island, as a recap on how to install the games on the mini. First, check the wiki. Under required data files, it's telling me to make a game directory, aka the folder, with the resource folder inside, and these three files as well. Note that for some games, the wiki page may have further instructions 
instructions such as renaming files. This is why it's very important to check the wiki for each game, especially if you have problems. I have this game already installed on my PC actually. Here's the files on the hard drive. On my mini SD card, I'm going to go into ROMs, scum VM, then make a new folder for the game. Now, as the wiki instructed, I'll copy the resource folder and the other files. With that done, I refresh my ROMs and I should find the folder within the scumvm system. Running any of these Komi files starts the game and this one looks absolutely beautiful on the Miu Mini. Each game may require different files and steps, but that's the gist of playing scumvm games on the Miu Mini. One more time, check the wiki for the required files, make a folder for the game in the ROMs scumvm folder, then drop those files in. All right, that's the first half of the video out of the way. Now, what about that game list? Nobody likes a dirty game list, so let's fix this up. We're going to use a very special feature of Onion OS called miugamelist.xml. By setting this file up, the game list will ignore all folders and files except for the ones specifically mentioned in that file. The first thing to do is to get our game directories ready. Open the folder that contains your scumvm games and go into one of the game folders. Right click and select new text file. Change the name of the text file to the title of the game and the file extension to .scumvm. Agree to change the file type when you're prompted. Inside this file, we just need one single line of text the game ID, otherwise known as the short name. To find the short name for your games, browse to scumvm.org forward slash compatibility. You'll see a list of games with the short names in one of the columns. Hit Ctrl F and search for your game. Here's the secret of Monkey Island, and I can see that the short name is simply Monkey. I'll type Monkey into my file and save it. Note that any extra spaces, line breaks, or anything else will break the file. If you have trouble, make sure your text editor isn't automatically adding a line break or something. I had this issue and it took me ages to work that out. We'll want to add these .scumvm files for all of our games one by one. Curse of Monkey Island's short name is Komi. Beneath is Steel Sky is Sky, etc. Okay, now we need to modify the scumvm console to use the Miu gamelist.xml file. On your SD card, go into the emu folder, then into scumvm. Make a backup of the config.json file by copying it out of the folder, then open the original file on the SD card with notepad. We're going to add a new line, which I like to put just underneath image path because it's nice and tidy there. Make a new line and add the following, including the quotation marks and a comma. Game list colon dot dot forward slash dot dot forward slash roms forward slash scumvm forward slash miu game list dot xml. This line tells Onion OS to look for a miu game list dot xml file inside the roms scumvm folder. At the bottom of the file, you'll see ext list. Add scumvm between the quotation marks and then save the file. By the way, if you power on your mini and the scumvm console is suddenly missing, it's because you messed up this file. That's why we took a backup. Be sure to check the commas. Every line except the bottom one should have one at the end. All right, so now we need to build miugamelist.xml. Return to the roms forward slash scumvm folder and create a new text file. Change the name of the text file to miugamelist and the extension to .xml. Agree to change the file type when prompted. This XML file is more or less a way of presenting the game list. Instead of the OS doing it automatically, we're doing it ourselves using this file. This isn't a coding lesson, so just follow along as best as you can. By the way, there is a way to do this automatically using Scraper, but I'm not going to go over it in this video, because I think it's actually more difficult than the manual method in my opinion. If you do happen to have just a huge collection of scumvm games and you really want to do this automatically, let me know in the comments below. It's pretty quick to do manually though, and you'll learn something too, so let's just get to it. First, add this top line to the XML file. XML version equals 1.0, exactly how I've written it here. This line is just telling the file what type of XML file it is, we don't really care. Then we're going to open and close our game list tags. These two tags define a list called game list. The first tag opens it, and the second one with a forward slash defines the end of the list. Within the game list tags, we'll define a new game like this with game and forward slash game and now inside these tags we're going to add three properties to the game path which is the path to the game itself name which is the name that's going to be displayed in the games list and image the image or box art for the game let's fill this out for secret of monkey island it looks like this Open with game, set the path to dot forward slash the secret of monkey island forward slash the secret of monkey island dot scum vm. Close path. Name the secret of monkey island. Close name. Image dot forward slash images forward slash the secret of monkey island dot png. Close image. Close game. The file considers paths in its own folder. The first period is representative of the base folder. So dot forward slash the secret of monkey island refers to this folder here. Then forward slash the secret of monkey island dot scum vm 
refers to the scumvm file inside that folder that we made earlier. We want to simply point to the images folder with dot forward slash images, then the PNG file for that game inside. Save the file, then reboot your mini. It should look like this now. Doesn't that look so much better than before? Now you might notice that the curse of Monkey Island is now missing. By using the Miu game list file, you need to be aware that your games will no longer automatically appear in the game list, even if you refresh the ROMs. Instead, you'll need to edit the Miu game list.xml and add a new game entry every time you want to add a new game. Right now mine looks like this with six games. Remember, it's just one game list with several games to find inside. And here's the results on the Miu Mini once you get it all set up. It looks absolutely amazing and completely worth it in my opinion, even though it is a little bit of work. There's no better way to format the game list for ScumVM. You can stick to the raw folders and files if you want, but that's up to you. And that about wraps this video up. We've covered quite a lot here, but at the end of it, I hope you have a beautifully formatted game list and plenty of amazing ScumVM games to play. I recommend, of course, The Secret of Monkey Island. In fact, that entire series is one of the funniest games ever made. And Beneath the Steel Sky, which is apparently free now, there's also Broken Sword. Really, the list goes on and on and on. So anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for your patience on this video. I haven't uploaded for a while, but hopefully I'll get back on a more consistent upload schedule now. Thanks very much for watching Retrobreeze, and I will see you next time.